Welcome to The Daily Dish, I'm Shea Pasa. Today we're talking recession-proof beauty with Oprah's cosmetic cop, Paula Vigan. But first... Today's Daily Dish is brought to you by Target, where bargainistas and fashionistas unite. Everywhere you look, there are advertisements promising to make us look beautiful. Well, in today's economy, none of us can really afford to waste money on things that don't work or that we don't need. I'm thrilled to have joining us today the lady that Oprah calls the cosmetic cop. Hey, Paula, welcome to The Daily Dish. How are you? Is this Shay? Yes, hi. How, how are you today? I'm good. How are you, Shay? I'm great. Thanks for being with us. Sure. Now, so let's talk about how to keep ourselves beautiful in what is really a tough time. A lot of us have to cut back on some of our beauty essentials. Well, you don't have to because we need to let go of the myth that expensive means better. We've been wasting money in the economy before this. And in any economy, it isn't good to waste money. Wasting money isn't pretty. There is nothing about expensive products that tell you it's better. There are good and bad products in all price ranges. The issue is to get to the good products. And that's what I do in my new book. I explain what the new research and the new theories are about skincare and what state-of-the-art products meet the, the least expensive state-of-the-art products that meet that criteria. So tell us about some of the products. For example, it's summertime and a lot of us now are experiencing breakouts or oilier skin. What might be an inexpensive product that could help? Well, if you're experiencing breakouts, well, first of all, the most important thing is sunscreen. There, there is nothing 365 days a year, SPF 15 or greater, the longer days, greater is better. SPF is about length of time in the sun. Probably one of your best options if you have normal to oily skin for sunscreen is a foundation. I have oily skin, I have breakouts. My foundation contains sunscreen and my pressed powder. Probably the best at the game for uh, foundation with sunscreen is Revlon and pressed powder would be Neutrogena. They have a new thing called Minerals Shears SPF 20. Brilliant product. We gotta let go of the mineral craze. That's just silly. There's nothing about a special mineral out there that's better for skin or somehow skincare that is all hype, just nonsense. Um, the other thing you could do for blemishes any time of the year um, is benzoyl peroxide. One of the better, uh, least expensive ones is uh, Zap Zit. Doesn't contain any irritants. Irritants are bad for skin. Alcohol, peppermint, menthol that show up in a lot of acne products. There is research that shows, actually this was one of the more fascinating things I learned in researching the new book is the new research that says that when you irritate the skin, you actually stimulate more oil production and acne products are often loaded with irritants and they actually make matters worse. You gotta clean skin gently. If you strip out the skin that stimul and irritate the skin, that stimulates more oil production, probably the best bargain at the drugstore for gentle cleansing, you can even use it over the eye area, is CeraVe, ounce for ounce. It is without question the best bargain. And what about eye cream? You okay. don't need eye cream. Just forget that. Leave that on the shelf in any price range. It is a waste of money. There isn't a shred of research. We interviewed dermatologists, ingredient manufacturers. We searched the journals and there wasn't one shred of information that said the eye area needed something different than the face. If it's bad for the eye, it's bad for the face and vice versa. If it is a well-formulated product, it can go anywhere. What they end up doing with eye creams is giving you half as much and charging you twice as much. Wow, they're just taking our money for no reason. I know. <laughs> now, don't misunderstand. If the, the, the eye area, if it's dry, absolutely needs a moisturizer. It needs sunscreen. It needs healthy ingredients but it doesn't have to come in a separate product labeled eye cream. That's a waste of money. Okay, that is so good to know. So what are some of the beauty secrets that the pros know and we all want to know about? Well, I know a lot of pros that don't know that much. I read what they write sometimes and I think, and where the heck did they come up with that? But I think the major thing is about applying concealer and what we do is we apply it and then we rub it off. Same thing with our foundation. We apply it and we barely, and then it's gone. We touch our face during the day. You gotta keep your hands off your face. When you touch your face, you're taking your, your makeup off. Mascara running. Oh, let me give you my best mascara bargain. Um, Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. 
Un unbelievable. The, you leave the green and pink one on the shelf. That has always been a problem. This doesn't clump or uh, chip, and it makes lashes really long. CoverGirl Lash Class is another really great one. There is no reason to spend a lot of money on mascara. The other thing I think pros might know is that when you wear foundation, it has to match the neck. Right, because if you match the face and the face is a different color than the neck, you will have a line of demarcation. So the foundation has to match the neck area. So this area absolutely has to blend down. Now you don't put makeup on the neck, but you blend it down to make sure that you have an even line when you're testing it out. Good to keep in mind. So what about hair care? Any secrets there? Well, no, because hair care really depends, well, other than sun protection, because which there is no hair care product that protects from the sun. SPF numbers are not allowed on sun on hair care products, so you absolutely can't rely on a hair care product for sun protection. And hair care products really depend on your hair type. Dry hair, thick, curly, coarse hair, uh, thin hair. So there's a, there isn't a general recommendation, but one of the things you can do if you're swimming a lot more during the summer is the, the silicone serums, those thick, liquidy looking uh, serums. FX has one, Pan actually most cosmetic lines, uh, hair care lines have one. It's that thick, viscous looking stuff. Put that on the hair. It sticks to the hair. E I mean, it's not going to hold up all the time you're in the pool or in the, uh, you know, in the water. But it holds up pretty good for a long period of time because it, re it repels the water. So it keeps the hair more protected. Put that on before you go swimming a good layer and you'll be surprised how much better your hair feels when you get out. Good stuff. Now I'm hoping you can share a secret that I've heard you tell before. It's a secret to keeping your feet pretty all summer long. Well, I'm neurotic about my heels. I hate cruddy looking heels, in, well, any time of year, but particularly in sandals. So here's the trick. And you gotta keep these on the bedside because you're not gonna do it at the sink. And so what, I, what you do is you take shea butter or cocoa butter, and they're like $5 a jar. The Palmer's stuff sitting up there on the shelf, you, you gotta kinda look for it, but it's four bucks. It's just thick, creamy stuff. And what you do is before that, you put an exfoliant on your heels. That means a 2% BHA, a salicylic acid product. So you look for products that contain 2% 2 salicylic acid or greater. But the trick is you put that on first, all over the heels, then put the shea butter or cocoa butter on. If you feel like it's too much, I know people complain that it's greasy. I don't care. I go to bed with it anyways. You can slip a pair of socks on afterwards and, and or a little, you know, the uh, the little petty, you know, uh, nylon stuff, the little, you know, ones that just fit around the foot. You can put that on so you don't grease up your sheets. I'm telling you, you will have the smoothest, gorgeous heels. Oh, and keep a petty file at your, in the bathtub so that when you are in the shower, so before you get out, you take a quick scrub before, you know, a quick, you know, rub over your heels. It's perfect. Pettifile, 2% salicylic acid product, and shea butter and cocoa butter, gorgeous heels, honest. Well, I've tried it and it's amazing. I used the Stridex with the cocoa butter and who would have guessed? Thank you so much. Where can we find more information and your latest book? My uh, book is, uh, well, it's for, available on my website uh, with a lot of free information at cosmeticscop.com. And the new book that's out is the original Beauty Bible. And we're hot and heavy working on the new edition of Don't Go to the Cosmetics Counter Without Me. Well, we can't wait to read it. Thanks so much for being with us, Paula. The book is phenomenal. And you can find the products she mentioned at Target. Thanks so much for being with us. I'm Shay Pasa. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching She Knows TV. Look for more of The Daily Dish at SheKnows.com.